All right, here we go. Hopefully loading doesn't take too long. Like normal. I'm excited. Um, seems like we're getting to the really good part. So I'm very curious how this is going to be. Does take a little bit. Yeah, Oral B time. I don't think he's joining us, sadly. He's a freaking coward. Typical Oral B. Typical Oral B. All right, meet up with Ms. Briar and the others. I mean, hopefully Oral B just uh, changed his mind and is going to be coming along with us. It would kind of suck if he uh, stays behind. I don't see him here right now. I only see Carmine and Kieran. Kieran's kind of being antisocial in the back, but he's there. Yo, Kiki's awful quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bent out of shape when he lost. Yeah, he's being a sore loser right now. Area zero, right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. At least he seems to be getting that excitement to get back. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Nintendo? Yes. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm... I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Thank God. But it might be Cap. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero. No matter what it takes. Bro. That's the spirit, Karen. You already know what, what he wants. He wants to find it. That way no one can beat him again. Oh my god, Kieran, you gotta snap out of this shit. Alright then, shall we? See where we go. Well, area zero, obviously. Different part of area zero, maybe, though? Got the music again. Haven't heard it in a bit. We made it. I, I'm finally here. Area Zero. The place I've dreamed about for years. I swear, I think Briar's up to no good. Whoa. I mean, just look at those eyes. Jesus Christ. Whoa. This is incredible. Wowzers. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Nintendo Hawk? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? <laughs> Agias! Yeah, I'm right on YouTube. Eek! You scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Or, what's your mo- Watch him, Adon. <laughs> Love that. Agia? So he came here with the Ten Hawk back then, too, huh? Oh, he must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Yo. Deeper down in the zero lab? Keith mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. 
Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for that Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Nintendo. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I think we stick with our team. Unless we want Maridon in battle mode. Maybe we want Maridon in battle mode, actually. Oh, what I meant to do. Yes, battle form. Yes. We'll move Lucario. Because he's not quite level 100. Yep. Oh, neither is Maridon, though. Forgot. Let's see. I think mine has, like, really good stats. I don't know. I just got a feeling he might be useful. Okay, yeah, we're gonna bring back Lucario then. Because I think it's more useful to use Maridon as a ride Pokemon. There we go. Would you rather have Maridon in real life or the Sheikah Sweet in real life? Oh, man. Sheikah Sweet, I could do a lot. Probably, probably that. It Maridon is very tempting. So. All right, down we go. I mean, I can like stop time whenever I wanted to. Like, that's crazy. Go down here. Crazy being down here again. It's been a bit. It's been a little bit. I would choose Sheikah since you can wind bomb. Um, I don't think uh, we would survive a wind bomb. Link is just built different. <laughs> we would just die. <laughs> okay, we gotta find that lab again. Is this a shiny? No, it's freaking did. I hate it when these things are sweet, but it looks like they're shiny. Freaking iron hands. Asshole. I need an actual map here. What the hell? Useless as hell. I guess that's one downside of just jumping all the way down and not taking the path. At least you're fast. Unsparse. Oh, there we go. There it is. Found it. You cussing? Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. 
It's the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. They're, dude, her eyes are really creeping me out. I, I, I think she's up to no good. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. Oh, is it where we fought the AI professor, maybe? However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. What the hell? So you're saying we should head inside this zero lab? Gates closed though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now, Nathan Hawk? You've been here before, right? We need to use the panel. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Oh? <laughs> He's lightening up, I guess. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Nintenha? Hell yeah. Do it. Nah, <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Wait, what? Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. What? What's the matter? Is something wrong with it? Damn. It opened before though, right? Is there some extra stuff we're missing? The professor was in the lab and I see. The last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep boop. Yo. Indigo disc detected. Siri, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why does Siri think I'm trying to talk to her? <laughs> Huh? It's talking. Yo, know, that's actually kind of creepy. You had a machine in the game talking, and then my then Siri tried freaking turning on. That's freaky. Oh my god. What the hell? Alright, one. Okay. Please insert indigo disc. Relax. It's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. <laughs> indigo disc. What could it mean by that? You know the thing you freaking got from the... Ah! Different to an Emmy. Yeah, Emmys are way worse. Ms. Briar is so stupid. <laughs> oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Ooh, how fun. Go on, Nintenhawk. Do it. You have my permission. Oh my god, it's like a CD player. <laughs> Yeah, she probably knows and is evil. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh boy. Can you go, disc? Oh my god, I just realized that. Oh, it freaking. It's a pun. Oh my god. In a go. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Zero lap elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Huh. Wow, the it's horrible lag here. Jesus. Look at that. It opened. Let's head on in. Can't believe Oral B is not coming with us, man. What a loser. All right. Back back in here. I swear if it's dark and they split up, I know. God, I haven't been here in a bit. Where we met the professor for the first time. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. <laughs> That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. He's got a point, though. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, huh? Shut it. <laughs> Where's Ms. Briar anyway? She's busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? You probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh? You're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Ms. Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe you can take us further down. You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Carmine wouldn't survive in the depths of Hyrule. <laughs> Sure did. How exciting. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. Oh, for science? Oh, I was able to control. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> there we go. Don't most elevators open like this? Why is it opening the other way? What the? It's so weird. Ms. Briar's freaking me out. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Kind of like the Space Needle one. Hey, everyone? That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah. Something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho ho ho. Santa Claus? Is that you? <laughs> that is Ms. Claus. Where indeed? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Yeah, she's so creepy. Monka W. I'm gonna type that in. Whoa, Monka. Oh my. Yo, what the hell? Oh my goodness. 
blue ones look gorgeous. I love it. So what? Are we under area zero or something? Yes. According to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, area zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. H hey, what's all this stuff? Oh yeah. A bunch of journals and stuff. Oh, or what are dust doing down here? Oh my, oh my, this is, this is a report written by the esteemed professor Turo. He's dead. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Parapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rusing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring. In a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terror type the stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? For sure. Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? And it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? What is this? And what is this about a stellar terror type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous to think there was so much that he didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terrapico. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's go. Let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. Nerd. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. All right, new location. So let me save. Here we go. Oh, damn. Okay, that's a bombless pit. I thought maybe I could go down there or something. Okay, I'm already being paused. Never mind. Yeah, this one looks pretty. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further of this in the way. Hey, what about what's your Madon, that Pokemon you ride on? Could we need a smash through? Uh, let's give it a go. Hold on, hold on, please, hold on. What the fuck you want? This is quite like a man manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try try to destroy it with brute force okay so what do we do then hmm yeah lady jesus christ hmm it's glowing a special color there are pokemon all the way down here What's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back. You know you're no good in a battle, Ms. Briar. Kiki, no. Nintendo Hawk, you should handle this. All right, here we go. It's an all-in-one terror type, I assume. Oh, yeah. Look at that crown. Oh. 
Damn, dude. What on earth is that energy? It it couldn't be. Use hypnosis here. Nice, and we can use dream eat dream eater. Right after. Oh yeah. Dream Eater for the win. I should at least break the terraform, I think. Nice. And yeah, we're gonna have to catch this thing, I think. Oh wait. Can we even No, we can't. We have to just kill it. Never mind. Never mind. Three meter again. Nice. Good work, Nintendo Hawk. Oh, yo. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. We just w witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have had the stellar para type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Kieran's like, you're stupid. <laughs> I can't say for certain, but no. I don't think so. The professor's notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. Like, Mora you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is keep going. Come on. He's acting like a leader all of a sudden. The music sorry. Also, why is my screen? I can't. Jesus Christ! It was not letting me move for like a good second there. My God! This is right under me. Okay, that's just a void. Never mind. <laughs> I had to know. Had to know for sure. Whoa. And right, now we got some items here. I got some carvings. Stellar Terra Shards, yo. Yeah, we got TM over there. Nice. Okay, I want that. What is this? Hydro Pump. Nice. I'll take that. Get this item real quick. Yo, is that a fly gun over there? No, I think that's a Noivern. Yeah, I think that's a Noivern. Nice. Oh, nice. I don't have to interact with them yet. Let's keep exploring. Ice Terra Shard. Our TM Blair Blitz this time. Yeah, it's a Noivern. We got another item. Wine Terra Shards. Yeah, we got a Noivern here.
Okay, I was like, what's going on here? Noiver. He like wasn't really attacking me, interesting enough. All right, he has the new type. That's frisk. Shadow ball. Stab. That was easy. I swear I need one of those buttons like that was easy. <laughs> I think my sister used to have one. <clears throat> and we need to do that actually. Good job, Nintendo Hawk. The crystal thing is gone now. So I actually had to do that. Pause being clever. <laughs> I was like, sure, I'll fight it. No, I had to fight it. Okay. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Okay, what's over here? Probably a secret, right? No? I'm shocked. No, I'm actually shocked they didn't hide something there. All right, we got now. Now Pokemon's called Maridon, right? Boy, it can really jump. Hell yeah, it's an awesome book. We're on a roll. Let's keep on moving. Yes, ma'am. See what else we got over here. Slipping on ice. Got our, our entrance is blocked off, so we need to find another terrestrialized Pokemon. Do some exploring. Oh, there's another one of those blue crystals here. Oh, huh, is this another in entrance or? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I feel like it's a way back here though. I feel like we will get there through there. Probably. That's my guess, but we can go through here. So let's check it out. Yo, I think I see the Pokemon in question too. It's not too far. Got a max revive. Nice. Is that Duro Ludon? It kind of looks like one from here. I think it is. Right? Ground Terra Shard. No, it's a, I think it's a Tyranitar. No, it's uh this it's like iron spikes or something. Ira. I wish I can catch out. I, I, I really like this uh, form. Super cool. Love the design. I was even cooler with the Terra. Oh, I want it. Looks so badass. No, we gotta kill him. I feel bad. I'm kind of just one shotting him almost. Like one hit, they're out of the terraform. <laughs> I 
Now it's going to open up their path. There we go. This is a giant room. Hey, Nintendo Rock, the path opened up. I'll be there in a bit. I gotta explore some more though. Psychic terror shards. This seems like a great place to get terror shards if you need them. Here's if there's anything by these big groups of crystals. Yeah, like there almost has to be. Can I climb these? I can. I knew there had to be something. Got outrage. Cool. And now I think that's it. Cool. Let's head on back. Got a new path opened up. Let's go check it out. All right. Sorry we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it, Nintendo Hawk. Now then, it appears that terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther down we go. Come, we've no time to lose. Huh. I think we're almost there then. I had a feeling there's something right to my right max potion. Oh. Yeah, we're winding down. Four restore, three of them? Go. Three max elixirs? Dude, they're trying to prep us hard. This looks awesome. Three full heals? Dude, what is going on? Two max revives? And two max potions. Dude, they're really prepping us. It's like baby mode here. Wait, why is Carmine over here? Definitely that way. Yo. Go handle looking around in the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Fair enough. Got a hard stone. Another one? Jeez. That's two in a row. Okay, is this Pokemon? Save that for last, though. See what else is around here. Got another revive. Damn. Really prep. Whoa, this is a pretty tree, dude. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else but the Pokemon, really. I guess I'll go right for a Pokemon. All right. Not a revive. What the hell? Hard stone. Okay, I'll get these though. Sparkly thing. Love hard stones. 
Uh, Stardust. Can you go, Marina? Thank you. Any more sparklies? Doesn't look like it. That's finally it. All right. That tree in the background just looks so good. It's beautiful. Crystal tree. I mean, Shadow Ball has been working for us, so I'm just going to keep using Shadow Ball. You know what? For once, it did not work. So I'll take it. Finally, something new. <laughs> oh, Lucario's good. I'll use Lucario. Or shiny Lucario. Hell yeah. Man, you're missing all kinds of these stone edges. That's twice in a row you miss. He's washed. Get wrecked, buddy. Mario levels up. Perfect. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Nintendo Hawk. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering. Just do it. <laughs> hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. <laughs> we got his ass. <laughs> love it. I love how much of a savage Carmine is. All right, here we go. Bro, well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Nintendo? Hawk? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him is all. We should keep going. Damn. Gah. He's so stubborn. Haha, <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. But me and my team are just about spent. Since that's all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Why were you not equipped? Yo, this room looks cool. Wait, what? My Terra Orb. I think it's reacting to something. Huh, you're right. Mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, wh where do you think you're going? Ooh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the vile book is so close now. What? Not you too. Let's do sometimes. I swear. For real. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. 
Crazy looking area. Yo. Interesting. That's crazy. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. Hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Karen. Up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Oh, I think you see it. Oh, that's Terrapagos. That's Terrapagos. This stone's a hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of area zero, I, I can finally beat Nintenhawk. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Nintenhawk has everything I've ever wanted. Oh my God, dude. He's got strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants and he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. Damn. But Kiki, you, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You're being all nasty towards him at first, but then boom, you're like best friends in no time. All right. Well, I've got nothing. I worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull off everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. I don't think you can do it. Or can he? Oh, he did. There's no doubt in it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, shit. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> No. You're mine. Dude, he, he has a master ball? Damn. Okay, Kieran. Jeez. That was Terrapagos? You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a match ball tells me you are well prepared for this. Now I can study Tarapkos whenever I want. But there's no time like the present. Being you could give us a little demonstration of Tarapkos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Nintendo Hawk. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. God, why is he still in that freaking attitude, man? Oh, God, this dude. Never satisfied. Freaking brat. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right, get in position. I'm, I miss the old Kieran. That guy is pretty sick. This guy is cringe. New Kieran's cringe. I, I hope you've braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Nintendo Hawk. We'll see. 
Let's see. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. Finally, Lucario will take it down. Go, Karap, go, show Nintendo what, you, what you're made of. Oh, so it's pretty much like a raid Pokemon. Harris Chef. Thank God. Oh. I want Taras size yet because we have steel. This I can win for sure. We'll see. Huh. Not very effective. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's going to be the play. Go for Ninja. Uh, yo, Green Queen. Yeah, we lost. They're pretty good. We're uh, potentially finishing the... Pokemon Violet DLC, that's pretty cool. We're now battling Tarapagos, the new legendary. It's pretty cool to see. Pretty cool. The Gengar hoodie is incredible. I love it. It's so good. I got it in like October for Halloween. It's like my go to for Pokemon streams now. It's just so good. Okay, I was like, don't crit. Let's uh, max potion here. Gengar, not Gengar. Uh, Greninja seems to be the best shot here. This Greninja is a badass. I think it's from the raids and it's like level 100 from the start and it has max IVs. Absolute beast. Go! Oh, we just froze the Terrapagos. Let's go. That's great, RNG. And GG. He fought out just in time. Wait, did he survive? On like a sliver of HP? What? That's crazy. <laughs> like that much oh my god well now it's gg what why i thought if i just had terapgos if i had the hidden treasure of area zero it it would make me stronger Vod let me beat nintendo He's thinking just like Gary did it in Pokemon. God damn. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. His terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Violet book. So, Parapkos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. You must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Such a cute Pokemon. Of course, Tarapkos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Tarapkos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Tarapkos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. I think I saw this in the trailer. It doesn't like looks becomes like a giant freaking Pokemon. I think that's exactly what's happened. I knew it. The Violet book was right. Arapkos in its fully awakened form. This is a hidden treasure of Area Zero.
Yo, what the hell? Nice, we're right on. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Tarapkos to his ball. Uh, okay. Come back, Tarapkos. Uh, it's not working. Whoa! He broke the master ball? <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. Well, damn. Okay. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all. Oh. That's a, that's a little fast. Okay. No, no, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. How are you supposed to know is going to do all that, dude? Be real here. I don't think you want Lucario first. I wish I got to choose. Um... Yeah, I gotta heal. You gotta heal first. That's crazy. Well, we gotta switch off first. First ball. Rage powder. What does that do? Center of attention. Okay. I Help me heal. Let's heal up Greninja now. And probably go for stab Hydro Pump. Probably to play. There's Star Storm. Well, Sinister uh, is almost dead. <laughs> Please attack. Thank you. You did like nothing. Using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Yeah, exactly. I can't yet. Please. Okay. Water type. And we miss. Oh my god. That is not great. Rit? Oh boy, it is just not going well here. Oh no, my sis was knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. I need to be able to freaking. For us the wise, I'm not gonna really have a chance. Oh, it's not good. Please let me terrestrialize. Two more attacks. Oh, come on. Okay, we didn't miss finally. Dude, that does so little damage. Does that crit every time or something? My God. <laughs> I swear, I think it does. Oh my God, it's using it again too. Hey, it finally didn't crit. Let's go. And you miss. Oh my god. Greninja! Ah, 
I'm missing my guy. Like, miss, miss, miss. Like, come on, Greninja. It's just spamming the same move. <laughs> come on. Is that your only move? Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. Do something else. For real though. I think I've seen it use one other move today. Oh my God. I got to heal first, Briar. My God. I actually put Pega. I have four HP. You want me to wrestle when I have four HP so I can die the very next turn? Great idea. <laughs> Oh my god, the damage output is insane on that thing. Yo, Nodi! Welcome in! We are probably finishing the Pokemon DLC. Here we go. This fight is actually kind of tough. We're gonna have poison terror type, not water. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. How much damage does that do? That, oh, that, that was a lot of damage. Don't crit, don't crit. Oh my. Gotta be kidding me, man. I'm gonna go with Charizard. Well, oh, shit. What's that emote? Love it. <laughs> um, let's go for some quick flamethrowers. I think it's 100% accuracy, so I can at least chip damage. It's burned. Oh my god, that's huge. Breaks the shield at least, so that should be a lot easier now. Oh god, it just absorbed terrestrial energy. It's just like a raid boss. And we got our shield. That's me. Actually, it's a community email from a friend of mine who I mod. That's awesome. Come on, Karen. You are useless if you just stay in the back doing nothing. Oh yeah, there's a nice em emotes. But yeah, Nightbot's gonna flag you for that. Well, I can still see it, but they deleted it for you guys. And right, we need to heal first. All right, four store. I think we have a stab of uh, terror type here, but I think it's fire, which is great. Why is the damage output always so much? Yes, fire. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Okay, look at Karen just staying in the back. Oh, it's not Wednesday since when did you stream on other... Oh, man. You have... Been here today. I've been streaming Monday through Friday for a bit now. <laughs> Since like 
November, actually. <laughs> it's like ever since I got back from my vacation, I switched the days to Monday through Friday. <laughs> yeah. He's posting on the Discord too. <laughs> I mean, it's been a bit. I don't think I've seen you since uh, like the too many mods. Uh, I mean, too, too many types mod. Which now is kind of a bit ago. Stop spamming his move, man. Stop spamming his move. True F word. <laughs> I wish it stopped spamming the same move like 20 times. Stop. Stop. They're just super effective, super effective. Like, dude. It's like the only move it freaking uses. I swear to God. It's like Terra Starstorm. Terra Starstorm. Terra. Fuck it, I'm just gonna attack. This is pointless. I heal, use the attack again. I heal, use the attack again. I think it's scripted. I think it is. God, that's annoying. What? He absorbed terrestrial energy yet again? What the hell? Yeah, freaking Kieran, help me out, man. This fucking dude. God. Come on, Kieran. <laughs> Thank God, man. Thank God. Jesus Christ, I had to wait till like pretty much two of my Pokemon are dead to finally come out here and help. <laughs> God damn it, Karen. Need to be here uh, more often, but since like two months, I don't watch Twitch that much. Only the guy with these emotes. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. I'm like always on Twitch now. In some capacity. I like to watch my friends when I can too. I made some really cool friends uh, in 2023. Met some really cool people. Blade. Eh, he heals me though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think Twitch is the better streaming platform uh, from YouTube and Twitch, but you grow much faster on YouTube. Uh,. Yeah, from uh, videos and shorts and stuff, but I don't think from streaming. I think I had one stream where I gained like a subscriber on YouTube. I was like, eh. 
get more subscribers from just making normal videos and shorts it's like yeah who's on the potential live subscribers but i can make those up really fast to be honest oh crit yeah shorts are big speaking of which i gotta make a new short for uh for for uh yesterday's stream could we finish koroks here's the kingdom that was exciting the map now says a hundred percent thanks for the hydrate yeah i gotta make that Rest of us. Oh my god, this is a horrible terror type though. Yeah, I saw you were alive out. I were in a call with friends, so I couldn't come Saturday. Yeah, we finished that yesterday. We did that and then we played some of the Suica game. It was really fun actually. Really fun. Like I might be playing that more off stream, honestly. It is a fun time. I gotta change the terror type of my Surrey Wedge. I keep forgetting his ground. Oh, I like the Gengar hoodie. Yeah, it's so good. I got it in like October for like Halloween. And now I just wear it for like pretty much every Pokemon stream. <laughs> so good. Okay, we have poison. So let's use Sludge Bomb for the stab. All right, here we go. Music's pretty good for this. Yo! Knocks down the shield. Let's go. Is it vulnerable? Or is it still gone? Looks like you can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack. Let's go! I'm gonna end this C2. You have my permission to go all out. Like we need permission. Gonna do it anyway. The Cappy Cap has legend status for me. <laughs> it is a good hat. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow for the Mario Kart stream. Gonna be doing a Mario Kart stream uh, with viewers. That's pretty fun. There we go. Maybe we'll go inside a ball now. Now I can count on you to 10 hawk. You got this. Hey, let's go. Okay, what ball do we catch it in? I think I want to color coordinate this. Feels like moon ball could be good. What else would be good? I don't want to waste a master ball, you know? Save it. I feel like moon ball could be good make him be there but right now it's 4 37 p.m so it could be uh, uh i can't come tomorrow because family's up. yeah everyone's kind of busy so i kind of understand i think i'll go with the moon ball colors kind of match You feel the moon ball also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with moon ball. Nice. This animation again is just like a raid. It looks nice in that ball. God, the glare <laughs> because the crystals.
Yeah, it looks perfect. It's a great look for it. It is. Is it over? Is everyone okay? They're fine. Don't worry. I still think Ms. Briar is kind of up to no good, but we'll see. He even had the crystal animation like the crystal Pokemon. I know it's perfect. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession to lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. So sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I I messed up too. I looked up to Nintendo for so long. I wanted to be like him so so badly. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I just don't have an enemy to be like him after all. Finally, finally, I can let it let it go. Don't sell your don't sell yourself short. But but snip, I just snip. Ah, oh. oh, you're good. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I swear, I've got su such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Aw. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, you two must have been so scared. But y'all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. Uh... In Pokemon Sun, you need to catch the legendary Pokemon with the Master Ball. But I I were young and young and dumb, so I wasted the ball and ended up to waste 20 super and other balls on, on him until I catched it, caught it finally. Oh my god. <laughs> and in the end, our Nintendoc even managed to catch Theropagos. But I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. I'm gonna head back to Blueberry Academy. <laughs> These characters. <clears throat> Ooh, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No. God, it goes by so fast. Yeah, happy new year. Uh, yeah, it kind of caused a bit of a issue there. Do we need dialogue? Oh, nice. Do you think we can start over from zero and be friends again? Hell yeah. I mean, chat bots. Night bots, normal. Sari bots, normal. Lots of streamers have these. It's intentional. But yeah, pretty good DLC overall. That was fun. A little bit challenging at times. Emily's not in my chat. No one's chatting. <laughs> like no one else is chatting, but you, <laughs> you're the only one chatting. So I don't, I'm not really sure what you mean. Yeah, they're not even following or anything.
I'm a little confused what you're talking about. There's nothing there. There's literally nothing on the chat. Let's see, let me do this. Like, there's nothing here. It's just you had a friend, Green Queen, chat a little bit. Had Orphean Orca, who's like a regular chat for a bit. Oh my god, this looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, nothing. I think we're good. Yeah, it was a fun DLC. I had a lot of fun of it. Um, I think it's... Like, part 1 and 2 is really good. Um... It was really fun. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of faster than I thought. So maybe I might play some more Suica game. <laughs> I was kind of addicted to that. That was fun. That was pretty fun. Look at that. That was awesome. Gonna have to figure out how to uh, catch some other Pokemon that I saw today. Um, Turtles bunch i need from the dlc still in uh both sections in kitakami and blueberry um so that's exciting but that is probably it for um pokemon portion of the stream i thought this would probably take longer but we seem to have gotten through in a pretty good timely manner so yeah uh, you know what? Actually, um, that might be it. Uh, I think I won't do any more. Um, I'll I'll probably just work on the um, Tears of the Kingdom video I've been working on for like a month now. It's the 100% grinding stream. We got like all the footage we need. It's like 45 minutes long. Kind of crazy. Um, so yeah. I think going to be good there and uh yeah pretty sick uh just wait for this end meantime let me try to figure out who i would want to raid Uh, let's see. Come back round. Come back round. I'll probably wait, raid Violet Disciple. I think it's fun, yeah. No, they just forget about it. Wait, there's no bots here. Got two hours of cut footage myself. Nice. Yeah, this is like, there's so much footage. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. Aw. Oh, there's a little bit more. But yeah, it's hours and hours and hours of footage. Like, been trying to 100% Tears of the Kingdom since, like, June? Um, and finally did it yesterday, so finally have all the footage um it's like 335 hours of game time on my main profile oh that's crazy um but yeah seems like we got a tiny bit more here bing bong bong bing it's an announcement for the following students and Tenok from yuva academy Ms. Briar would like to see you in classroom one through four. 
He has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. Meet up with Miss Briar. What is this? Hey, okay, we got several uh, places to check, I guess. All right. Hey, the Nintendo, glad to see you. Also, I'm surprised she wasn't actually evil. I'm actually surprised. Overly obsessed. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the under deck? Yes. Oh, youth really is an inviolable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. On to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book, but don't worry. Made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila! A proof of copy a proof copy of the book freshly de delivered from my publisher just for you. Yo, okay. You put the copy of Briar's book. Yep. Proof copy of the exploration notes covering the area zero under decks. Build of long paragraphs describing what happened along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the underdeck. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. I truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Ah, but there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your tarot orb, Nintendo? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran's and Carmine's orb. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Tarapka. Karen and Carmine say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their Terra Orbs. What? That's crazy. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share if you relate to those deepest depths. You know the Terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the Terrarium? Well, until now, I'd been keeping it topped off of a mixture of Aldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy ground. The other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the other under depths to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. Yo! And they have the Star Terra type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Oh. The R-type terrestrial station grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. If you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get a boost. There are ray battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Huh. That's cool. Oh, and there's one last thing. Man in a blue shirt was look looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for staying aside some ch time to chat. I'll have to pay a visit to my publisher. I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Tarapkos. Till then. Good stuff. All right, talks to a couple other people and uh, that's probably it. How's this new Elite Four doing? Oh, it's just her. And Tenha. And Tenha. You have my thanks for all you have done to help the Elite Club and to help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. So I consider this somewhat sad. It is not as if he and I can no longer meet. Or in anything, I am glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of the flight enabling supplement used in my trial. 
Please feed your uh, give us an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. Yo, can you just fly whenever you want now? Yes. What? You want to fly right now? Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such a large. <laughs> I guess. Maridon will be able to fly now. Nice. It would seem her Aegeus has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish it to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. For sure. As it happens, there's a super hard course from my flying time trial. May attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you are ready. Press the elastic while gliding. Oh, so if I press the left stick again, it just goes back to gliding. That's really cool. Oh, that's sick. Time for me to go. So long then. We can fly whenever we want now. That's so cool. Definitely gonna be doing a uh, like casual Pokedex hunts in the future or something. All right, we got one more. Here we go. There you are, Nintendo. Just the person I was looking for. I heard the news. You're the new BB League champion, am I right? I'll admit it. I'm blown away. Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've made recently. So now that you've had some time to get comf comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Love it here. Good, good. That's what, what I like to hear. Anyway, there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Nintendo. Huh? You see, the whole academy's become so much more lively and energetic, energetic since you came here. That got me thinking. Maybe we should have even more people come visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or something. You know, a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Leave it to me. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. Oh. You can use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We'll need to pay for a trip and such. Here's something to get you started. Two hundred BP. We have two ninety now. I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. No, no, I'll leave it. Leave it to you. Enjoy. He's in the league club room. You can invite your friends and acquaintances acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy as special coaches who you can talk to and battle with and have a max of two visitors over at a time. Ah, only two. What? Seems like that is it. Um, yeah, kind of a short stream today, but, um, I think I'm content with, uh, stopping there. Um, and then I'll probably um do some more pokemon grinds next time but yeah pretty fun stream today uh very chill in my any thanks stream deck gosh <laughs> uh but yeah it was really fun um gotta get ready to eat and work and stuff uh but yeah it was a fun stream i think i will go raid yeah, Violet's still streaming, so let me go raid Violet. 
And yeah, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. I think, yeah, we'll do some Mario Kart tomorrow with some viewers. That should be a lot of fun. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be like some just fun, casual races. No, like, uh, no catch or anything. No prize. See if you can win. If you can, awesome. Just a little bit of bragging rights, I guess. Um, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.